Fun this Kingdom podcast. In this episode, we're going to be discussing mobile ordering coming to five restaurants at the Magic Kingdom. So I'm just going to quickly just run through a little bit of the details. This is a online experience that you can use using your mobile phone. There will be five restaurants, including Tomorrowland's Terrace Restaurant, Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe, Pocahontas um, Village Hoose, or House, or His House Hoose, um, um, Peco's Bill um, Tall Tale Inn, and also you've at the Columbia ha Harbour House as well. Um, this is something similar to what they've been doing at Pandora. Um, apparently what you do is you go on, you find your food you want to order, you order it, and then when you get to the restaurant, you tap I'm here, which that then sends a signal to be cooked, and you pay through your credit card, and basically saves you from lining up. Um, as somebody that's at this precise minute, sat inside my cafe recording this, um, and being spent all day cooking for people, I'm really intrigued by this from an entirely from an entirely different direction maybe than maybe you would. But what did you think of this? Uh, well, I'm kind of already used to the mobile ordering technique because um, I work in Disney Springs, so we have a Starbucks nearby. You can mobile order with that as well. So the idea of them all like kind of moving it towards Magic Kingdom, that kind of surprised me at first. I kind of figured they would do it, well, they would expand from Animal Kingdom to Epcot or Hollywood mm. Studios before they go to, you know, their biggest park. Yeah. But, I mean, I mean that, that means they know that the system will work very yeah. well. Yeah. I mean, in some ways as well, like, there's all that happens then is it just bypasses the whole ordering system because it's just going straight to the kitchen and they can then send the food out. So you are saving having to go to queue to line up. Again, the only trouble is, um, thinking of this as a visitor, um, especially as an overseas visitor when I visit the, the Magic Kingdom, I, don't take, I wouldn't take my phone with me. I have no data plan. I've got no way of connecting to the internet unless it's the free Wi-Fi. I am trying to be in the, the Disney bubble, so I do not want any communication through Facebook or anything like that. So for me, all this stuff of using phones for app for you know fast passes and all this stuff takes me away from the magic. I'm on vacation. I want to be. I want to be separated from it. So the idea of ordering my food on an app. Um, it takes away a bit of the pleasure from it as a guest, you know, lining up, doing it all. But I can see if you've got a family, it could be a little bit easier to do. Um, if it removes the queue so it makes it so I can get to the queue easier, that's not a bad thing as well. The only side thing is if I'm standing there in the queue and everyone else's food is going out so quick, it could be annoying if you've actually gone, well, I've stood here for 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes and they just strolled in and got their food. It could be very frustrating from that point of view but I'm hoping in some ways that will reduce the cues so that's one side of it um based on what I've heard it has actually reduced the cues a lot because um they started off with Satui Cantina then expanded to Pizza Fari and then Magic Kingdom mm. so based on what I've heard it's actually been working pretty decently and I know for the families in particular um uh, like you know of more than one child that they really like sang praises about it mm. Now, I can understand, like, if you're coming from overseas or if you just aren't, like, technology savvy, you wouldn't really be able to understand it, let alone even understand my Disney experience. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's, yeah. it's definitely a solid one. Because, I, I mean, I was having this discussion with a customer the other day um, about, you know, they're changing the parking meters in the, in our town. You know, and they're having, you know, contactless, um, and you can pay, and, you know, there's, there's so many people here that are scared of it. But obviously technology moves along. You know, you go into a different town, everyone's using contactless and you wouldn't even notice. Um, I mean, as, a, as someone who owns a cafe, the idea of having your food going out and you've not even seen the customer, in some ways it makes it a lot easier because you've removed a lot of the requests and the special... I mean, you don't get it say me so much in Disney, but the idea that you're essentially removing that part of the customer interaction. So... And you might not necessarily need as many staff on the front of house, but you might need then more people taking food out or putting it in the order area or just put it. It's very interesting to see how this works. Um, I can see how it could work very well. But however, if you've got any special requirements, if you need anything changed, if you want anything different, you're going to have to still queue up because this is very much being basic. Personally, if I was a local or someone that was in bar, I probably would use this because um, I like the idea of, you know, you can order your food. You go grab your table, you hit the thing, and you just sit down there and you wait until you buzz until it buzzes till you go get it. Um, I do like that. I could see that being very useful. Um, 
But again, I, I can, I'm really like torn on like being a, a tourist that ha is from overseas, that this is something that almost I like, couldn't use that well. I mean, that's, that's really my only concern is because I already know a few, you know, people I've actually had to explain my Disney experience to and how to use it for their vacation. So they're still kind of trying to understand Magic Band, which has been yeah. around, I, I think, about a good four years. So just it, it's adding a lot on that guests really aren't understanding a little bit mm. too quickly, possibly. So they may not even really get a full understanding of, mm. you know, accessibility that they have with the app. I mean, I've, we've been discussing this with some friends recently about going, you know, um, you know, on the trip to Florida, and you know, they're not really thinking too far ahead, and not, you know, they're not planning on doing anything. Um, but if you are have got this app and you're using it, you can you can reduce your time queuing, and you can you can be in the park smarter. You know, I like the idea with this restaurant system of basically you can go in, grab your table. You might have already ordered your food while you're in the while you're in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, uh, or in the Haunted Mansion, you know, and then get yourself a nice lobster roll from Columbia House and go. Well, I'll order it all now while we're standing here in the queue. What do you want? I will this, this, etc. Well, I love this, and then you do the queue ride, and then you get there and you, you grab your table. You, one of you pops to the loo, and your food's being sorted. It it, it does sound great. I can, I I can really definitely see how it would be such a useful way of doing it. And if it pulls down on the queues, it makes it easy for those that aren't using it. it it's definitely using the technology to an advantage. And I really do think we're going to, I think this is going to spread out to every restaurant, every fast food place, um, right across the whole park. Yeah. I wouldn't be too surprised. Cause like I said before, I was very surprised that they just went, they took it straight to magic kingdom. Mm. But I guess at the same time, if it works for magic kingdom, then it'll work in every park. Yeah. So, at that, in that aspect, I, I think that was a smart move. I mean, as well as that, I mean, the way that, like, using your tills and how it orders quite often now, you know, it gets printed straight into the kitchen. There is no, the communication maybe, you know, doesn't come through that way, the same way it quite often used to, of the, you know, the, sh the people passing the notes and stuff through. But now so much of it is done electronically. It makes sense, you know, the whole way that people use um, delivery services and stuff for food this is just going to be something that's going to continue to and i like i i think within a few years every fast um location i don't necessarily know if um sit down meal restaurants do it i mean i know when we went to disney world like what's it now five years ago you know we went into beauty and the beast like be our guest chose our items on the menu board and then went and sat down with our little red rose thing. And that was five years ago. You know, even in McDonald's now, you order it at, 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 at like a big dock and your food. You know, this is just going to become more and more standard. Kids coming up behind them are just going to get more and more savvy to this. Yeah, I agree. It's, 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 I've noticed it a lot in just restaurants outside of Disney too, like mm. you said. So, I mean, I feel like they're just taking technology that they've started testing in an outside world and just bringing it to Disney just mm. because, you know, People want more time to enjoy their vacation, but then it's a question of how much planning. Is there too much planning? Is there not enough planning? Is it helpful? Is it not? But at the end, I feel like it depends on. Yeah, and I also like the first one or the family plan. Yeah, I mean, I also like the fact that if you're running, if you're in the kitchen doing all this, and you go out and you take the food out, and this person goes, "Well, I ordered this, this, and this," and you go, "No, you didn't. It's all on a piece of paper. This is what came through. This is what you've been charged. This is what you've got." And more often than not. It's going to be user error of why something's missing. I know that's something I have to deal with customers quite often. Is go, no, you didn't order it. We checked with you three times, and you didn't. You didn't, and that's it's your fault. Because quite often they, you know, customers tend to like to blame the, the salesperson. It's like, well, actually, the salesperson is doing this a hundred times a, a day. You do. You're ordering here once. You more likely to make a mistake than they will. Yeah, that's true. Especially when it. <laughs> And that's another thing with the app. It's like most people don't know who they're doing. They don't know what they're pressing. They don't know what they're like. They're paying for. So yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't see see too many issues happening with it. But yeah, I feel like it'll be something different and really helpful. Yeah, no, I I think it's a great idea. Um, I like I said, I think it's going to be sweeping out across it. As I said. From my point of view, I can see it from two very different sides as an international guest, but also as a cafe owner of going of how this could be really beneficial to customers as well as Disney. It could also help them cut, cut um, staffing costs as well. 
that's also very true. Yep, that really could. Mm. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I mean, I'm there going, oh, if I had this with my customers and just put an iPad out, I could get rid of two members of staff. <laughs> that's just like, you know, it's like... You know, I mean, unfortunately, my customers would probably look at one to look at an iPad and run away and go, "I can't handle that." But generally, it is part of the deal of, of this whole process. But let us know what everyone thinks of this system coming into place. Love to know your comments. As for you, you can check us out over at thiskingdom.com. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel and the audio platforms, and you can find us on all the different social medias. And Victoria, where can they find you? Find me on Instagram at he calls me pineapple princess, and Twitter he calls me. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you guys soon. Laters. Bye.